And we're live. Oh man, what's going on, folks? Back at y'all boys, with another podcast. I oh, think yeah. this is episode twenty-three. Twenty-three. Twenty-something. Year to Jordan. Oh, God. Ooh, if I'm wrong, it's gonna be so weird. What? Who cares? <laughs> Who gives a hell? I'll just cut it out. Yep, just cut it out. We got the homie Chisel Adonis. Yes, the legend in himself. the building. Yeah, I appreciate being on. If you didn't know already, get familiar. The diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual the chiseled Adonis in the building. There we go. So, so I got to ask how did you come up with that and what made you get to memorize something like that? Oh, it was like four years ago. I actually think the video where I came up with it is probably still up. It's joint old as hell, but I was thinking about different ways to describe certain things because I'm very... I take a lot of time before I speak because I, I give a lot of thought to things. So I thought, okay, what can be defined as giving things thought? So diligent, vigilant, meticulous. So I like to talk in a certain with my delivery. I'll use three different words that mean the exact same thing, just to sound much more intelligent than I actually am. But, <laughs> yeah, so I always figure that way. Like, all right, let me just use synonyms once I find a certain word. Then sagacious is wise, but then conscientious is damn near the exact same thing methodical i happen to do a lot of the same thing over and over and then um <clears throat> what is the other analytical because I, I i go into detail a lot so a, a lot of these words just describe myself i'm actually wearing the catchphrase on my chest that's lit the chisel of donuts and you got hey we gonna need one of them hoodies, yeah, man. Yeah, man. yeah they're going on sale in a little bit probably two months because i got like 14 designs that's about to all get printed at the same time then everything gonna go live. we both gonna be coming out with merch you know what I'm saying? All right, hey bro. yeah i've been seeing your fashion shows and everything <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's just my my other life. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Want to <laughs> a dub's life. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> right there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's true so, some niggas, what is that? What is he talking about? I don't know. It's a buzz life. You know, somebody actually. <laughs> that's where I got that from. A buzz life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's always a nigga that kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I thought that was a people. A common people thing. didn't really understand. For real? Yeah. So. Somebody I caught it immediately. I thought, yeah, I was like, oh. You know, some people that didn't have a good childhood. Uh, oh, yeah. They ain't had no lights in their house, so they never really got to see nothing. <laughs> yeah, the other people's houses is watching TV. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, it's good to have you on here, bro. We've been, uh, we was just talking oh, about, God. man, I didn't, I couldn't believe that we didn't even have a thousand uh, subscribers when we watched your first video, man. Like, that's, yeah. that takes me all the way back. to reload. I still remember the first video. I think it was week 12. It was the prime time week 12 because I remember it was the sun. It started with the Houston game. I want and to end up. Was it you? Yes. Oh, I wow. Well, Thanks. I, on Facebook. I saw his videos on Facebook. I was like, bro, we got to check this out. We got to check this out. And I brought it to you guys. You was like, all right, let's check it out. And from there, it was history. Shout out to Facebook. Yeah, man. Yeah, I saw your video. Yo, bringing things into fruition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, I, it's funny because I would just see your clips in our feed. Just random, like, people that I follow. It was just, they would repost your clips. And then I was like, oh, this dude is hilarious. And then that's when I followed you on Instagram or whatever. And I found out that you had a whole just series of that. I was like, yo, this is. Shout out to Ross. This is gold. Yeah, man. Who, why is nobody checking this out? This is gold, man. So. Were we the first ones to start checking you out? Oh, sorry. Um, I, of the reactions, I think y'all were the very first. And then there was like two other channels, but then they, they weren't hitting it the same way you were, Paul. But then it, was, it, it took <laughs> off. I mean, it, 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 it took off, man. Because I remember, I remember the first comment. When, because they were introducing the, um, they were introducing the players, and they had their heads in the corner. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Yo, is that is that him speaking? Oh shit! There's commentary behind it, and then it took off from there." So. Mm -hmm. See, nah, that damn, bro, that, that take me back because we were just watching the video. One of the homies hashtag truth. He probably watching this. Um, Shout out to you, hashtag on live. So, but he um, made a compilation video of us reacting to his Tony Baker trying to laugh, and the ones we did from back in the day. And I'm just like, dang, bro, back when we was using lamps to light up the room. <laughs> like, man, boys don't know the, the struggle, struggle man. behind yeah, man. To create a video. Mm -hmm. 
a good video. And I mean, I was using all like all the homies be like, bro, you use anything to make a video. Like I was using everything in the house, use this to block off this, and we didn't even have no mm -hmm. mic for the audio. Mm -hmm. Like Nope, nope. Yeah, when you first start and you don't got nothing, the amount of creativity, yeah. like you got to stand at a certain angle so the natural light can hit yeah. you. Yeah. You got to try to, you got to block and turn everything off, got to turn the phones all the way down to silent. If anything go off, you're like, oh, shit, we got to start again. <laughs> Damn it. I can't get this same energy back at yeah, 112. Yeah. Well, you know how many times I thought I was recording when I wasn't? Like, because oh. all of my videos, unless it's a commentary, everything else is done in one shot. I'm one take Jake. So I had so many times where my battery would die before I even press, like, record. So I'm on the other side. I press record. I don't know it's not recording. I go off for, like, 20 minutes. Oh. I'm like, Yo, where, the, where the video at? Camera was never on, so I'd be sick. <laughs> no, nah, we didn't. We didn't have some situations like that, and where we was thinking we was in there, and it's like, bro, the camera died, or the camera wasn't even going, and it's like now I got a way that I can see when it's an app that I use for the Canon camera, so now I can see when it's recording when it's not. But I'm like, man, just but it kind of makes you feel like I'm getting lazy, you know? Because back then you had to do so much more. I mean, mm -hmm. a whole album review, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think something happened with the audio. The audio is choppy. I'm like, bro, this is a whole damn album we listen to, and none of that content like is mm -hmm. useful. Yep. So, I have that same feeling too, where I felt like I was getting lazy. Like I didn't use no app. I had to go and buy a, a monitor. I had to buy a monitor so it could reflect. And this joint was like hundred and thirty dollars or something. Like, I don't know where I got the money. I probably robbed somebody. But I had to go get a. I had to get a monitor. Right. Not approved. <laughs> Hey, hey, I cannot confirm nor deny said sentiments. If something did or did not happen, it's not of the doing of the In The Clutch podcast. Um, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, I had to go and buy a monitor. But I sometimes I be feeling like I'm lazy, too, man. I know the struggle. I know exactly what y'all brothers is going through. Hey man, for sure, man. But it's good to have you on here, man. Sure. Uh, we appreciate you for joining. I know the people going crazy right oh, now. Yeah. They've been waiting for us to do some type of collaboration. Yeah, and uh, I was always telling people before we were doing the podcast, I was like, I don't know how, you know, unless we do like a skit or something, I don't know how you're just going to collaborate with, with somebody from far away. So when we created the podcast, I was like, you know what? It'll be dope if we just kind of bring in different YouTubers and stuff like that mm -hmm. and show people, you know what I'm saying? There's relationships uh, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Other than just you know what we put in the front, so it's yeah. pretty much dope. So we got a, uh, I was about to say we got a lot to talk about, but we freestyling. Yes. Yeah. So uh, everybody, go ahead. Let's drop the beat, DJ D Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Into our first topic. Um, so unfortunately, um, there was a terrible situation that happened this week mm -hmm. um, with the police, and uh, of course, I, I hate. I couldn't even give give myself. Um, the time to even watch the video. Mm -hmm. Um, to this point, I've only seen the picture of um George laying on the ground with the cop, uh, knee behind his neck. And you know, we just want to kind of get you guys, you know, ideas and what y'all think on that. And where are y'all with this now? Like, you know, I know we're over that whole protesting uh type of mentality and mood. So, what do y'all think or what would y'all like to see uh happen now? Uh, Molly, you could go first. Why everybody always says Molly? Like, yeah, ladies first. Pop or Molly. <laughs> okay, so, Mally, so yeah. we're sorry. It's yeah. Molly. Molly, Molly. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. You know, my A's sound different. <laughs> but you just said it right. He had to drag it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a whole lot of effort. <laughs> I'm sweating now, Molly. I'm sweating now. <laughs> All right, so oof, where do I dig in? No, it's, it's tough. It, it's tough. No, it's, I mean, it's been tough, and that's the issue. Like, people, I ain't gonna say people, like, I'm tired. I am tired of this happening. Um, it's just, um, it's appalling to me that now, with the technology we have, it's bringing things to, to light. Like, oh, like, but it's been happening, you know what I mean? So with that being said, I, firstly, a change is not going to happen until the people who are not affected speak up. If that doesn't happen, we're going to continue to be strangled on the ground. We're going to continue to be pushed against, like, it's going to continue to happen. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Now I'm seeing posts where um, a lot of awareness to other communities, white, uh, non-ethnic, they are starting to actually be vocal about their support for us. And I think that's what's going to make, that's going to help make the change. It's not going to completely make it, but it's going to help make it, um, make the change. What happened to George is completely <laughs> I don't, I have no words for that. Um, I have a son, you know, he just turned three. When I saw, you know, George laying on the ground, I immediately looked at Ace and I'm just like, our innocent babies. Our innocent babies, no matter how much you teach them, no matter how much you instill in them moral ethics, it goes by the wayside because of the color of your skin. And unfortunately, that's not something that I'll be able to teach him. It's not something I can, I can tell him, but it, I, I don't want him to experience it, but he is not gonna fully understand until he actually sees it himself. And that's what I'm scared of. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man, it's, it's just another day in the life of being African-American. Yeah, no, that's, that's like, I'm gonna reiterate on the son, son part, cause I got two sons. And it was crazy because my wife asked me, she was just like, man, what are you going to tell them? And it's like, it's crazy because you just, the only thing I can remember that my dad always told me was you can't fear anything. Like you, you can't have fear. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing he always instilled into me is just not be fearful of things and, and try to be prayerful, but mainly just don't, you can't be scared of life. You got to live because at the end of the day, if you tuck your tail and just hide in the corner, you know, life gonna keep going, and then you don't right. you never know what would have happened if you just went out there. Maybe you was a change that people was waiting for. So um, <clears throat> that's that's the only thing. That's where I'm at right now, and it's scary because I don't know what to really do. And it's like you can say that, but if something go out there and it happens, it's like you know your whole world. <laughs> you feel me? So I just wish more people. I think the other races stepping up. It does help because mm -hmm. I think now more people are just taking the a violent route. I think more people are just on action now. And from what I'm seeing, then I think people are starting to be like, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Like these niggas is getting for real. And it's like when, when black people start to even look like we coming together, it's dangerous. So, you know, that's I think they want to stop us before we all come under one umbrella and say, you know what? Forget the games. Okay, damn it. <laughs> Ross, cut your phone off. Put on mute. See what I gotta go through. Hmm. Oh. Then gave his number out to every woman on Tinder. Yeah. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> you calling? That's the fucking yeah. calling on the iPad too. Just connected to the phone, bro. Hey, <laughs> that's a good thought, man. I'm I was, so I was in my bag <laughs> now, bro. Well, he he was hitting on all cylinders. I was gonna get ready to cry. I was gonna pour some water yeah. in my eye. Like, come on, man. I was in there. Look at this. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> I'll take over while Ross trying to message his ladies back. Uh, <laughs> but I I'll say with uh with Molly and uh with with with, <laughs> with Dove, I um I sympathize with you guys because both of you guys being parents and having sons and having to explain to them the world they're about to grow up in, the trials and tribulations they're gonna have to go through simply because of their skin color. And although it's not as if you're in a situation where people go out of their way to mess with you, but because of that stigmatized fear that police have towards black men and black women for that part, you appearing any sort of agitated results in something that could end up losing your life. Right. And it truly is unfortunate because when I was watching the film, my whole thing was his partner, not, not the initial officer who had the knee on, on the back of George's neck because he's he could go rotten hell. Yeah. But his partner who stood there and went out of his way not to turn around, despite the fact the onlookers were saying, yo, he's not breathing, he bleeding out of his nose, he calling for his mom, he's crying. Oh, yes. And this guy stood there with his head turned talking about kids don't do drugs, um, this is what happens when you do drugs. The means don't justify the end. Even if you was on drugs or whatever, that does not enable you to put your knee on the back of somebody's neck for 10 minutes. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. On the recording, it, he didn't stop moving up until about four minutes in. Who's to say they w- didn't have their knee on for about six minutes before somebody even hit the record button? Right. Mm-hmm. My biggest problem was how can y'all, as a police force, sit there and try to justify this? Because the, the other three officers who were in attendance who didn't have the knee on, they enabled that officer to keep his knee there by not telling them nothing. It just don't make no sense to me. I'm upset about it because you damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, no, you've, that- seen, you've seen unarmed people get shot. You've seen armed people get shot. You've seen people who cooperate with the police get shot. You've seen people who don't co- cooperate with the police get shot. You don't know what to do in a situation like that. Every single encounter with police should not result in a fatality. It don't make no sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got people sleeping in their own comfort of their home. <laughs> getting shot, raided in on, and then just killed, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, I think the thing that really, really just agitates me too about the situation is every time there's like a, a school shooting or a mass shooting somewhere, these young white kids are able to just walk away like Scott. Bro, get oh, Burger uh, King. Go yeah, to Burger King, bro. Yeah, the Dylan Roof, when he was able to get, they said what, he was a good kid. So they got him some, yeah. money, some shit. Mm-hmm. He was he was going through some things. He was a good kid. <laughs> it's ridiculous. At, it don't make no sense. At all. But they 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 pushed us to this predicament. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I feel like they're trying to hurry up. I think um they said something about I mean, I know they fired them, but I'm just like that that's kind of like <laughs> that wasn't no news to me. We don't know mm-hmm. like what the terms are either. Yeah. Like administratively discharged with pay, with benefits, <laughs> like you know, there are different types, different routes of getting fired. Like, you mm-hmm. just don't get you know, completely fired unless you do. But they only just said, oh, you know, they've been fired. Okay. And? Yeah. Now we got we to gotta pretty much sit here and wait to hope there's an arrest that happens and make sure that the lawmakers actually make the right decision. Because I think a few years ago, the guy who put Eric Garner in the chokehold, he was pretty much waived of all wrongdoings. So we got to hope that the lawmakers do the right thing. That's one of the things that I was, you know, pushing for individuals of our skin color and all people who just feel as if this is wrong to get into law enforcement, get into, you know, uh, 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 people who happen to be judges and lawyers and things of that nature. So you can counteract all of the douchebags who allow, you know, the law enforcement to do this stuff and get away with it. No, no, that's super crazy. Agreed. You know, that's another way, too, like, to empower and change the system is becoming, like, getting in the system. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, encouraging people that it's okay, to, you know, that you ain't trying to, you know, pick up a football or a basketball. It's okay to go ahead and, you know, go to school for this to change laws that's going to help your child or somebody in the future. Because, again, man, this this is some sick shit, man, to see. And, you know, is I mean, I was talking to my mom about it. My mom, like, heavily Christian. And she signed the Fed up, you know what I'm saying? But it, she wasn't on no doing it still. But just in her mind, she was telling me how she remember back in the day when she was young, where when they went to the doctor's office, they had to go through the back, mm-hmm. uh, then through the clinic. And I'm like, that's crazy because I'm I'm with someone just one generation away that can remember. You know, it's not because she. It's not nothing that they knew was wrong. It's just what the way of life was. Oh, we just know because this is our color, we got to go through the back. These mm-hmm. people need to go through the front. Mm-hmm. And so when I seen somebody that said 400 years of slavery <clears throat> didn't just end in the 60s, it's facts. I mean, people really show you who they are every day. And mm-hmm. a lot of these Trump supporters, <laughs> they show you who they are. They show you their true color with the, you know, and I, I at least felt better knowing who is my enemy versus so many snakes. So when I did start seeing the MAGA hats, when I started seeing people getting on cap because he was kneeling, I had a boss that was like, oh, I feel like that's disrespectful because, and I'm just like, you feel like that's disrespectful, but we're not gonna talk about why he mm-hmm. was kneeling. So let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's just exactly. start mm-hmm. him, him kneeling, okay? Let's, let's just, let's take that out the picture. Can you tell me what he was kneeling for in the first place? Well, 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 all I know is it's, it's just like, man, you don't give a damn. You just want to yeah. do Or the fact that, you know, the football players, they didn't start coming out until after 9-11. So yep. it used to be, they used to only, uh, they used to just, they didn't have any regard to the mm-hmm. men at all. You, mm-hmm. 
have the camera and they'll pan the camera into the locker room. They in there talking. They in there running plays. And Malice served. So right. she would know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, so I'm just like, you know, while we out there folding flags and stuff like that, y'all in there talking about, you know, oh, we're going to win, we're going to I mean, dang, where's the respect then? But when you on camera, everybody needs to show respect for, for this great country. You know what I mean? Great mm -hmm. now. So I... I don't know, man. I, I just think that it's not, nothing is going to change until somebody's world gets turned topsy turvy. And we all mm -hmm. know who that world, <laughs> that world is. Right. So when it affects the people who actually mm -hmm. run the country, then. Yep. Okay. Just like this virus. Yep. Like people, people, yeah. uh, people thought this virus was for specifics. But when this virus starts spreading through, Different bank accounts, people with different, <laughs> bank accounts, people with different backgrounds. When they started saying, "Oh, I don't give a damn about race," we coming for everybody, you know. And, oh, Kobe, mm -hmm. we coming for you. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> coming for you. That's hey, the corona, bro. bro. Please, mm -hmm. I'm your man. <laughs> nah, corona. But but before mm -hmm. we get on the corona, I just do. I do want to ask, what do y'all think about Joe Biden in his comment where he was saying, uh, "If you don't vote for me, you're not black." He said that. No, yeah, facts. So, oh, yeah. Perfect. I mean, I, mean, oh, maybe one word, I gotta that's the whole piece. I can't really divulge on that because you know my job, like what I what, okay, gotcha. I just I'm a nod your head. Mm. Uh, I'll I'll say when he said it, when he said it, I just I just thought about all the all the blacks who just go and you know blindly go and vote Democrat by default. Hey. Super just like that. I said, man, you, you got to be a clown if you just give away your vote just like that. Oh, it's team blue all the way. I ain't <laughs> up in there and, oh, we just, you know, we're going to go and vote team red because he said this. Actually give some thought to who you go and vote for. Mm -hmm. If this person ain't earn your vote, don't give him that vote by default. He right. talking like that because he know he got it in the bag. Yeah. The fact that you can say, man, you know, if you're going to go in for him, you ain't black. How are you going to dictate my blackness? Man, I almost. <laughs> that, that's worthy of an RKO, son. This guy bugging. <laughs> this is, the reason why he felt so confident in, in saying that is because if you look at the polls in different states, hell, go, go as far as that's in counties. Mm -hmm. He got a he got a good old good old fair chance there, and normally no this early in the game you would not be able to it'll it'll be like it'll still be red it'll still be red completely red Texas is a red state we know that he got a good chance you know what I mean so he felt confident in his whole white being to to spew this and nothing was gonna happen. Man, I don't know what to say. Yeah, he was that confident. That's how confident he was. That's how he. That's mm -hmm. That also shows privilege too. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. He he's the ultimate. He's the ultimate person who could come out and say, like, you know how they always where where, where certain certain people in that position will say, my my black friend. He could say, oh, oh my black yeah. president. He was oh, yeah. I was his VP. You oh, supposed yeah. to be riding with me, and he could just pull out that card. And people, you know what? Yeah, we good. We good. You got our vote, Mister Biden. Like that's the situation. That's the type of time, and they're gonna be on in November. It's sad. It really is. It really Obama, is. I mean, Obama was I just talking. I wonder how Obama feel about that that comment. Well, I'd have had to pull up on him. I'd have had to pull up on him. Court with the mask and everything. Some go had to get some. It's not even gonna be Christmas. But he gonna get some beats by Dre. He like nigga, I'm endorsing you. You come out here. <laughs> like you mess everything oh. up. Go had to put some paws on him, man. Rock, Michelle, get <laughs> Michelle, get Michelle, get the gap, Michelle. Get the gap. Get. The... You stupid. Now that's that's man. I don't know what the hell. Like, who who going against Trump? Like, maybe I'm voting because <laughs> this homie had me like, like, bro, you vote for these nuts. You know how somebody, I ain't gonna even lie to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm vote for these nuts. I want him to return, man. He got to. Thank you. Remember. Like, to come back, he need to come back. Whoever these nuts is. Oh my god. <laughs> or oh, oh, Harambe. I think they wrote him into the ballot. Oh yeah, Harambe. They put him in the ballot. <laughs> Boy, yeah, and the cool. fact that he was pulling what, like sixteen percent or something like that, mm -hmm. or thirteen. Yeah. Well, I said what? Dude, in the... 
Take it easy. You have a chance. Like, hmm. These nuts. <laughs> These you know it would be real funny <laughs> if these nuts had won. So whoever had <laughs> wrote in these nuts, like, oh, shout out the president. Ah, oh, they're gonna be doing that, that, uh, uh that Regina Hall meme that be going around. The whole, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the president now. <laughs> what do I do? I, I uh, is this gonna be, is this gonna be in the history books? Like, oh, yeah, the year, Penny? Year, like, would it? I, I hope so. I hope oh my so. God, this is slick. It's history. It made history. Let your kids get to 16 years old in U.S. history. You open up that book, Mom, Dad. They wrote about the 2016 election. D- these nuts. These nuts? <laughs> who? Who was that? And you're like, oh, <laughs> they put it in the book. <laughs> who was that? They put. They put the little. You don't know, over to you. Yeah, I, I want to know what photo they go use. These. What photo are they gonna use for these nuts? It can't be Mr. Peanut, P- Mr. Peanut copyright. If he does, that's cultural appropriation. If they use the photo of Mr. Peanut. He ain't earned that. Somebody, somebody in that textbook factory childish. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they gonna well, have a print. It's probably one of us. It's one one of us in this generation is making the books. So. Mm-hmm. Right, that's right. So vote somebody at M- McGraw Hill. Bro, you you eighteen. And you young and you black and you looking through the ballot, you just seeing a bunch of names and the niggas just you see these nuts. You go, oh hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what they're gonna say. Cause you know in the ballot, they That's you know, 16%. Be, they want you to be quiet and you know, respect others. They go, she I'm on for these nuts. <laughs> and who you voting for? <laughs> they're like, wait, they got these nuts on them. Yo, I voted for him too. Yo, what's good? You're gonna be making friends at at the ballot box. Cause y'all done voted for these nuts. Watch parties, waiting to see. <laughs> <laughs> put them running for Obama's second term, because I think that's when I was old enough to vote for the first time. Mm. So it would have been a hard one for Obama. Wait, <laughs> but our classmates. Mm. <laughs> that's why it's <laughs> so <laughs> true. Obama and these nuts will have a debate tonight to see. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now that I think about it, if there's any time for these nuts to run, it's this year. It's you not going You now. don't gotta be in person. Everything's virtual. You, you could be. It could be like the uh, um on on Death Note where they had just L on the screen. You could just put a photo of a nut, not the ejaculation, and just have like somebody speaking behind and just saying, oh, "We we are these nuts." <laughs> The country should be. And they have a whole translation voice. Oh, man, they're going to get 40%. They're going to get 40%. No. Right now. Oh. Happy to stumble across this podcast, bro. The country needs you. You got my vote. You got my vote. <laughs> Facts. And whatever state it's speaking in, if it's a red state, it show up with a red tie on the nut. If it's a blue state, it show up with a blue tie in order to sway, you know, the population. I'm here for it, man. And these, these nuts 2020. These nuts, nuts twenty twenty. We need the shirts. I am. Who's nuts? These nuts. nuts. Yeah. Oh, nuts, I like it. these nuts. <laughs> there it is. Like put that, that on us. Put it on a t shirt. I like that chant. <laughs> Who's nuts? These nuts. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, no other country going. Who's take nuts? No, they ain't gonna. They don't. Who's they don't nuts is this? <laughs> it's these nuts. <laughs> it's these nuts. It's nuts. Who's nuts is this? Man, you could remix Who's every nuts? song. <laughs> oh my god, bro! But no, nah, I mean that just show you how crazy. Damn, man! Like <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know who to vote. I don't even know if we voted. Are right, you trying to figure out another way? Because if this Corona shit is still going on, I feel like they're gonna try to make it. They're gonna do emails. <laughs> emails. <laughs> oh, then they ain't not. Go- they not even gonna get enough votes. It's gonna be like seventeen votes in there. Who? <laughs> people not even checking their email no more. Yeah, not not like that. Unless it's like you know. Business related type shit. Oh, that on top of that, they can't really send out emails like that because KD gonna have like five thousand. He got all them burner accounts. You know, he got a ton of emails. Bro, you can't let KD vote that many times. That ain't right. He gonna sway a state. I like I like how he owned up to it though. You know, just having a. Bur- I mean, I don't know. Would you have a burner account? No. You, you look like a burner account. Type. I've never. Had- my Twitter know. has been toxic for years. He said you look like. <laughs> he said you look like you got burner How accounts. Does one look like they have a burner. I've never. This all solo accounts right here, bro. My my Twitter's old. He my did. Old. He did have to go through his. Yeah, I had to delete some he tweets. Like, bro, I delete tweets. Oh, 
I, I was adding tweets. I said, please cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> I own up to everything. Uh, it's in 2012. You said this about little people. You damn right I did. I ain't gonna be out here. Use the notoriety. I ain't about to be apologizing for many things I said back when the shit was what the world was on. You see what they almost did to Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. That nigga went to every media well, outlet hey. and said, I'm tired. I've been apologizing. <laughs> yeah. I did not mean it. Like, nigga, you said what you said, bro. It is, what, what are the odds of you actually having a dollhouse slam on your son's head? Not even possible. Like that joint don't make no sense. Cause I would have to purchase the dollhouse. I'ma buy something to break it. What am I, wreck it, Ralph? This don't make no sense. Come on, man. People just take shit out of man. They they go overboard, bro. And uh, so y'all seen the clip with the uh the lady, the Karen. Ah. And and it's crazy because this how like I've been trying to pay attention. I didn't know Karen. They were actually getting offended by that that name. Did you see the meme? I'm not a Karen. Don't call me Karen. Yeah, like I've been I've been seeing all of them. They oppressed. Like mm-hmm. I didn't know they was like for real. I thought it was just like a theme where I thought it was Karen, but they're for real. What's the thing? But I, I think somebody was it you or somebody else said that nobody was saying that the one uh, people were saying by Felicia. Hmm. Nah, it wasn't me. Like, they were saying, like, nobody was, like, they wouldn't, they ain't had nothing to say when of course. niggas was like, bye, Felicia, but now people are like, okay, Karen, now nah, it's a big issue. But, so the lady that was calling, uh, that was, like, manhandling her dog, uh, because I guess the guy had told her to dog. put her dog, and she got, like, super pissed, and she was coming up to him because he was recording. <laughs> She was like, why are you, can you stop recording? He was like, ma'am, ma'am, please. And he sounded nice. Yeah, he was. He wasn't like a Yeah. Because you know? like, <laughs> she definitely <clears throat> screamed Buggy Murder. Yeah. Nigga, mm-hmm. a couple tattoos. You better back your ass. screaming. <laughs> 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 hey, what you doing to that dog? Yeah. Dog Get your hand off that dog. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you again. I ain't going to tell you again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god! I like your voice. What are you doing later? <laughs> uh, but now nah, I, I hate how she tried to. She really tried to shit. Talk yeah. about some. I'm gonna tell him that you're uh you're you are African American. <laughs> you're a black man. The I was fact like, that you know that shit is a weapon. Calling mm-hmm. him. Yeah. So man. she had every intention to get him, you know, hurt or killed. And I love how she warned him beforehand like he wasn't recording. Right. Like, you got to, in your mind, you have to have a level of comfortability where you know nothing going to happen. So he can say, yo, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lie on you. Are you recording? I don't care. Listen, this guy trying to assault me. Like, no, when, a- she, when she took like two steps back, she was like. <laughs> yes, yeah, like she was getting in the zone. Yeah, I said, no, she didn't. She yeah, took- she been on TikTok for three hours and thinks she an actor. You can't pull that off. Bro, I'm so dog over there. Just- yeah, the dog was about to die. Dog, I, I feel so good. Dog. She had the dog in a severe choke. That nigga was like, yo, The my dog God. was like, put me down. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang. See, that was her first mistake. She should have let the, if she wanted some real sympathy, she should have let the dog go because her own people not going to be on the side. You know why people love dogs? Oh, so the minute God. that you held the dog, that you see you damn near putting the, the dog in the Aaron Hernandez challenge and you lying on this black man, it's all for you. Nobody going to be your ally at this point. What you just said, what you just said? We just going, we just going to roll. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein challenge. A whole lot of things that's happening, you know, on the damn dog. Don't do that to the dog. Come on, man. She was, she, she done, she dressed up on Halloween as Mike Vick. Like, I don't know what she was doing out there. That lady was bugging, man. She was wilding. Why are you laughing, Ross? You should not be laughing that hard. She dressed up on Halloween as Mike Vick. You laughing hard. Yeah, you are. She covered. Look, we we gonna tell like, what was her plan? You can't, you you gotta be an idiot if, if, if you thought. Uh, no, hold on, we're mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell the mayor. I can't, I can't. <laughs> you say your name. <laughs> I can't. Oh 
Oh, oh damn. Ross electricity bill done made it to her crib. <laughs> Video done cut off. Oh, God, dog. Quarantine is it. The struggle is real out here. Oh, God, bro. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! And you know what's crazy, bro? Oh, my what I'm not defending him. I'm talking about white people because they they were just in so much they concern over that dog, bro. They, they ain't hear nothing. They just looked at the dog. Is that a little pup being treated like that? Hey, look what they doing to Air Bud. Hey, what's wrong with her? <laughs> They wasn't here for it. No, <laughs> no that's was, good. Bro, that's all I saw. Just <gasps> trying to be like, yo, bro, they were so serious. It's been two the hours. They the dog. They to the surrender dog. her dog the, the within two hours. <laughs> Hey, the nigga could have been getting his ass whooped in the back. And they was like, no, the dog, the leash, the leash is still on the dog. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the leash still on the dog. Let him go. <laughs> Cut him loose. Cut him loose. <laughs> Let him oh go. Oh my god. Let him go. <laughs> So uh, it'd be hilarious if, if if she was like say if she she overpowered the black man so she beat him but the, the camera's still on him you see a white dude running the frame look at the black dude then take the leash off the dog and run out of frame. That's a oh. <laughs> like yo, That's you a saw the, and the black dude on the floor. Oh, oh, and she's saving the dog. I can see the accident. That's the sad thing. Dog. Did Ross go to safety? <laughs> <laughs> someone call. Someone call the vet. Yeah, somebody call the vet. The the, 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 black, the white dude who just saved the dog pick up the recording camera. It's all right. The dog is safe. The oh, dog man. is safe. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta come back because uh, we're almost out of our three minutes. <laughs> dog, he said Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> we gotta come back, bro. We'll, <laughs> Secure the bag. We will be right back. Uh, it's about to cut off, so we'll be right back. All right. We're going to call y'all back. All right. All right. Oh, my God. Y'all, y'all. This is Doug Ross. Doug Ross. In the morning. In the morning. Wake your punk ass up, boo. <laughs> Motherfucker. Still ain't got it bumping. Hey. Breaking news, um, there was a, a cop car that ran over a protester. Damn. And, yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, yeah, so he oh. ran over a protester. They were on a one-on-one free, freeway in, in a huge, like, hundreds of people. So I'm like, ah. Laughing. Mm. Right. Yeah. But the thing is, it was a steel crowd. And um well, I think, and I and he basically just kind of like <laughs> so I'm like, all right. Quick twitch. It was quick twitch and his foot went down and hit the uh <clears throat> hit the gas. So um yeah, so in LA they are protesting, they people are tired. In Minneapolis, they're riding. I seen them on rocks at police cars, mm-hmm. busting their windows. Yeah, they they yeah. are at their houses too. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I saw they pulled up to the uh, the the, oh. the house. Yeah, they was outside the door. They they're camping out at um at they they got all they know all four officers. Oh, they mm-hmm. quick. Yeah, they got, they got crowds. Yeah. Yeah. at at their house in their neighborhoods and they're camping out. Yeah. That's that's that's. I mean, I- imagine what George felt. True. Right. Yeah, don't go to sleep. Yeah. That's- oh, and check this out. So every um, George, not George, the person that actually had the knee on George's neck, he's been ordering food like through Uber because he can't get out. Right? Obviously. Obviously, yeah. Why every time they find out that it's for him, they cancel the order. So Damn. Now- for real? Wow. Yeah. 
Oh, that's. Oh. And, and, and every time they find out it's for them, they like, you know, that's the person that killed him. Or? Mad respect. That's it's smart. Right. That's mm-hmm. smart. They um, I uh, uh, can't eat nothing but his wife pussy. I mean, god damn. Fish again. Fish again. Fish again. Oh, I'm sick of Bring it. To pass. No. Bring it to pass. Where's the tartar sauce? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> this wouldn't have happened if you wasn't such of a dick, honey. <laughs> No, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> he's gonna crabby patty. No, he don't deserve it. no delicious crabby patty. Fuck that guy. No, he needs the pretty patties. No, he's like, oh, we're eating at the chum bucket tonight. Yeah, oh man. The chum bucket, man. Fuck that guy. Nah, I, I know his kids are fed up, man. I know his kids, if he got them, is fed up. Every time they try to play Grand Theft Auto, they start with six stars. Cops don't let nobody breathe. No, they don't. They fucked up, man. That's crazy, man. Oh, well, all oh right. God! Chiseled. We had we had talked about the, you know the video you had <coughs> had uh, recently broke down that uh, Instagram post. Well, it was a Twitter post by Desiree Mitchell about her um, standards for guys, and you made a, a very extensive video. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out on sure. this channel, bro. Oh. We'll definitely link it down below. Uh, Definitely check it out. You went in depth. You broke down all her points, point by point, on why you know the way she's talking and how she's presenting herself. And your your argument basically was, what do you bring to the table? If you want X, Y, and Z, why should a guy give you X, Y, and Z if you're not bringing A, B, and C? You know, if you're not bringing anything, then okay, why? The letters? You know, nigga, practice. So, <laughs> no, X, Y, and Z. Anything. So. I want to do another three. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting on it too. I like how he just used the ends. He used the last three and the first three. I was waiting for the okay. All right, I'm waiting for the middle. D E F. I don't know. Nigga, can't say that. Let's skip the end. Point is, he broke down the video and it was a dope response. And apparently, she DM'd you. So we get. The, the inside scoop on what was revealed if she uh, agreed with your points or disagreed. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah, so so when she when she DM'd me and I saw it, I said, all right, bet we're going to have ourselves, because I don't know what sort of, you know, uh, 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 the way that she was going to come at me. But yeah. I'm prepared for I want all the smoke. Wait, I want all the know, smoke. I'm here for it. Um, Say that the guy had to have like 100K. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, more than six figures. Yeah, right. So when she she said of all the um the explanations, mine was the only one that wasn't biased. So she actually wanted to speak to me because it seemed like I was the one who made the most sense. So at the same time, I'm like, oh, you think I you like my video? <laughs> it still fuck you, but I'm glad. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> so when she messaged me. <laughs> so when she messaged me i'm like okay all right let's talk so she went in depth about what she meant to say and her first initial excuse which i thought was overall goofy where yeah. she said she meant to say that um she feels this way personally but she didn't have enough characters so she just said women right so my whole thing was it's the internet you a verified user. It's not like you just got verified after they put it on Shade Room. So mm-hmm. although everything you put up won't go viral, it might go viral. And Twitter, you never know. Anything could go viral. Mm-hmm. It's the internet. You can't read if somebody means just them. So you got to be able to word yourself mm-hmm. appropriately. But she went on explaining how, you know, hypergamy makes sense. Um, how she was raised a certain sort of way and things of that nature, which I touched on in my video where I said, in its purest form, hypergamy makes sense. If you're a lady, you shouldn't be out here dating nobody who not making no money, who don't got nothing to their name. You should date somebody who got some. But at the same time, you can't just sit over here and say, yo, I'm going to date all of these people and not identify what it is that you bring to the table. She touched on how her mother, she saw her mother grow up this way where she didn't have to touch anything. But she never 
said anything about what her mother did to be taken care of in that manner. You can't just live a lifestyle where you don't got to pay no bills. You don't got to pay for no meals. Everything's being taken care of. You get to just work and keep all of your money while your man spends more than half of his on you. And you don't specify what you actually do. Is he always coming home to a home cooked meal? Is he coming home to your legs spread while you're wearing lingerie on the bed? Is he not having to worry about the house being clean? Is everything else outside of him paying for stuff being taken care of by you? If you don't say none of that, people just going to look at it and say, yo, you a gold digger. So I was just explaining to her when we were speaking to the DMs about how you got to be specific. And that's why I didn't call her out a name and call her all kinds of dumb bitches and harlots and all the other stuff. I just said, yo, you got to specify what you bring to the table. And if you don't do so, women who think your particular way, fellas shouldn't even look in their direction because you're nothing more than a leech. And I was explaining that to her in the DM too. We had a very good conversation for the most part. It never went left. Okay. For a lady who talk about a whole lot of nothing, she actually is a bit attentive. So, I mean, that was that was impressive on my side. By the end of the conversation, I'm like, okay, I ain't not too bad. You did a good job, Desiree. Oh, but man. for the most part, <laughs> you know, she just got to say what she bring to the table, man. No, nah, that's facts because you're right. Like, when a person has a, a voice uh, as big as she does, other women that don't really know what you mean gonna just run with mm-hmm. the first few words you say. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh huh, that's right. You mm-hmm. gotta have at least. You heard what she up. said. It came from sis. It came mm-hmm. from sis. Yeah, and it's just like you not even on the same frequency that she she yeah. on or what she's talking about. You know, your mama worked at Fiesta. You know what I'm saying? You can't just you know nothing wrong with Fiesta. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey man, my mama worked there. <laughs> 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 Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. But now I'm just saying, like, uh, you had a different struggle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you say things like that, that's that's perfectly, you know, that's right. Like, you can't think certain things out there and just think the whole world going to take it like how you really mean Mm -hmm. if you don't specify. So, especially in this type of, you know, day and age we live in and now where you can't live, most people can't live off one income. Yeah. Unless you making, you got to live in a certain sort of area to where you making a certain amount of money to where you could even break even. Yeah. Most people, majority of people really live in paycheck to paycheck. Because if you can't go six months without getting a check and you'll be good, you literally live in paycheck to paycheck. Right. So a lot of people out here, what am I spending my money on you if you're not doing nothing for me? Like one of the most egregious things she said was where... She not going to pitch nothing in regarding money unless y'all investing. But at the same time, that's a slap in the face because she not willing to risk nothing unless you are. Right. Yeah. So you just sitting over here like, damn, all of my funds is leaving my pocket, but you ain't doing nothing to make sure I'm good. Like, damn, that's crazy. She was, she was talking wild. That's why they, uh, I live with Mm-hmm. Exactly why they, they outlive yeah, us. that's exactly why they outlive us, man. We out here dying. Ninety three percent of the work for, workplace deaths is all men. We over here dying in coal mines. They're like, oh, I got a new Birkin. Who paid for it? He <laughs> died for it. <laughs> Damn. Who paid for it? They be talking about hot girl summer. Who paying for the dates? You may be tricking off on a man, but acknowledge the fact that you getting shit paid for. It's not like if you was going out and you know spending your own money. That's something. Hey, kudos to you. Right. You spending your own money. You'll never see me hate on a woman who got her own and she out there doing what she want to do. No, you're not going to get no hate from me, do you, sis? But if you're going to sit over here and have your whole life funded by a man and you ain't doing nothing besides just sit over here and put on makeup, my new concealer, and you just go in and you think, oh, you just throwing some labia at this man is enough to make him pop all his money? Like, come on, Did man. <laughs> That's wild, son. A clitoris ain't enough for me to open up my eyes. It's crazy. They they just know that that's all you need to just do all that and more. And you got some dumb idiots out there that agree with that message. The golden uterus <laughs> can do all things through the clitoris that strengthens me. Like this is crazy. <laughs> they start thundering. <laughs> yeah. And that's what that's when them the outer lips start start start. Oh, you must pay for my meal. I be t- I t- 
I tell fellas, ah, damn, Ross, Ross, your electricity done went to Molly's house. The electricity is off in Molly's house again. What I'm saying, son. Hey, we got to talk about it. It's like the outer lips is moving. Oh, you must pay for it. What do you mean? Separate checks. What's that? What's that guy from Futurama? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, the crap oh, the cra- with his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his mouth. Oh. What do you mean? You can't do It's crazy, bro. It's joint wild. That's why I tell fellas when you go on the first date, no matter who the woman is, always say separate checks. Separate checks don't mean that you won't pay for her meal. It won't mean that you won't pay because you can lay down a credit card for both. You can lay down cash for both. Say separate checks and then just stare them in the eye and just start conversation like that never happened. I've done it a few times. Niggas, it, it's niggas can't compute. And it's just, whoa, 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 what, what you, I thought you asked me out on a date. I, I thought, if it immediately goes towards the check, like, ah, I knew you came for the meal. You came for the meal. Waiter, put a little fecal matter in her salad. I don't got enough for all this, so we're going to be washing dishes together. <laughs> what if you pull that move? Oh, no, I left my wallet at home. <laughs> oh, no, I actually used to pull that a lot with the homeless. And I just never got a. I did that. With, I did that with you, didn't I? Yeah, I did that with my wife. What? I told her I ain't have my wallet. But she, she didn't like me. Oh, before. Ah, oh, that's probably how I ended up getting married. She like, I don't got my wallet. Either. Let's dine and dash. Oh shit! I want to marry this man. <laughs> and I, that was it right there. <laughs> they were like, whoa! They was outside the restaurant. Like, ah, ah! Let's get dub got on his knee. I had my wallet, but I had the ring though. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's it's smooth. I, I, it's smooth. A t- a level, you know, if you stay outside too long, like I'm making, oh, my God. Yeah. She said, yes. Woo, he want to marry me. And then the police come because y'all ain't leave the premises. That's going to be the problem. You don't want to have that. That's, that's going to be a uh, – at least I know we getting married, though. In jail. <laughs> 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 yeah, y'all gonna make sure y'all jails is closed because y'all gonna be on the outside of the gate. Do you? You gotta kiss the. You gotta kiss the fence. The bar. <laughs> you got you got Corona on your lips now, but you like, oh, we married. Hey, I wanted to. <laughs> oh, don't cough now. Don't cough now. Six nine gonna reveal your location. <laughs> I want to get y'all <laughs> on people that feel you such a type. I'm trying to get back. That's what they should call the find my phone. What? Six nine my phone. Six nine my phone. <laughs> Wait, for real? Six nine my phone, bro. Not find my iPhone. I got you, fam. Say less. Say less. Oh. I know who got it. I know what car it's in. I know. I know I'm it. dead. It blood pressure. I know it's blood <laughs> And it got it. The app got a ringtone every time you open it up, so you know where the phone ain't. Like, okay, find my phone. When they find, I tell it, don't tick ride, don't slip ride. You're like, oh, there's my phone over there. It's over there. Hey, I found it. Hey, er, hey, the phone was over. It was by the cat. It was in the corner. It was in the couch. Stupid. Stupid. Are you dumb? <laughs> you dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh man. Oh shit, but what I was trying to ask is how y'all feel about people that say, and I've been seeing this in the black community, which is kind of sad, but people saying, oh, the corona is a hoax. It's the 5G towers. <laughs> and uh, you know what I'm saying? They're just trying to, they're trying to limit you, man. I'm like, wait. And, and I, I'm, I'm seeing this a lot within the wait, black community. They're trying to limit you? Yes. And it's, it, 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 it's sad because it's like, bro, I don't, I don't think people understand, like, in the city of Houston, bro, there's this place called Clay Houston or whatever. It's a spot. It, and they opened it up. I want to say it was like maybe Friday or Saturday. They opened it up. And it was a whole bunch of people at the pool. Like, it was packed. Like, like the corona. Oh, that was at Clay. Yeah, yeah. Like, the corona wasn't a real thing. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And I seen somebody t- uh, post a tweet. Uh, like, they, they post, they was there. They was like, yeah, I was at Clay. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been quarantined since the beginning of this, man. You know what I'm saying? I need to get out the house and you have me some fun. And it's, and they it's y'all gonna be like, it's okay. Don't even come back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, that's that's what we call the first wave of people. The first, mm-hmm. like, first the, the first wave. The, you know, like, the wave that don't believe that it's real. I seen people real. that was like, man, bro, it's all hype, bro. 
they just trying to control us, man. You know, those are the people that you let natural selection take place. Exactly. Like, you know what? Like, oh, it's next. Oh, oh it's on and popping. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing the Birdman tour. Yeah. Oh, he about to die. Woo! I can't wait. I just just make sure when you leave, keep that stimulus check in the in, in the mail so I could go and grab it because you're not gonna need it no more. <laughs> the room, you're not coming back. You about to die. And I, I man, it's crazy. It's really great because there's a lot of people who really believe that it's one 5G government trying to control you. Because the, with the people who make the argument with if you wear the mask long enough, you not exhaling that carbon dioxide and you just taking in the oxygen. All this stuff. It's not as if you got to wear a mask all day. Nobody telling you to wear a mask. If you're in your house, you're not wearing masks. If you're on your porch and nobody is around, you don't got to keep your mask on. But if you're going into human contact, just put a mask on. Majority of these people is not next to each other for a long period of time. You go in a grocery store, you in there for a maximum of like two hours. You could just, you buy the fruit section, nobody around you, <gasps> and put it back on. It's not that big of a deal. Get you some air, homie. <laughs> nah, like, it's crazy. These people that definitely want to rebel. Like, you know, <laughs> you know it's somebody like, no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, come on, man. Why, why everything got to be so goddamn, why, why everybody got to be woke? Yeah, that's, that's it's the social media effect because everybody, you know, you ever notice how no matter what post you put up or whatever post somebody could put up, there's always somebody trying to create dissension or they just disagree with stuff. You're like, oh, here's my new baby, the baby ugly. What, what the hell would you? What's the purpose of that? So now when they started with yo, just put on a mask. It's like, no, nah, we don't want to put on no man. We don't want to put a mask on. I want people to see my face. What? Why? What's the purpose of this? So all them people. As Miley said, let them get taken <laughs> by <laughs> natural selection. Yeah. Natural selection. Yeah, bro. It, it, it's, it's crazy seeing it. Like I said, oh, I've seen a lot of people within our community just really trying to preach that and promote that. And it's like, yo, I, I, I want y'all to understand <laughs> that 5G ain't just the cause of what's going on right now, bro. I, it's, you can really. I will it, say. Bro. 5G is going to have a lot of, um, uh -oh. it's supposed to be like, what, 50 to 75 times radiation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's going to have an effect. But, but I don't think it's going to cause a mass, like, all of it is having an effect. Like, we're, we're, we're adapting as we go. Like, we're, we're the guinea pig generation. So, you know, we've never had this much technology mm -hmm. to our ear. We've mm -hmm. never had that much Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. We haven't. You know, I know some people have, but we haven't been able to watch streams like HD, 1080p, 4K. They got mm -hmm. 8K. Like, yeah. we haven't watched that as much as we do for so long and for years and years and years. I'm sure as new cancers is going to evolve with all kinds of diseases. Mm -hmm. we, our body, this isn't natural. Mm -hmm. Some people wake up in the morning before their eyes even just dilate to, to see what's going on. They put they phone in their yeah, they put their phone in maximum brightness and all that. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. that. They don't even put it on light mode. Yeah, they don't light mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't, buy, I don't buy nothing new. I wait until about six months to eight months when the next model of that original version comes out. <laughs> The S version. <laughs> yeah, like like when the when the note first came, when they had the note that was blowing up on people's oh, ears. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's what you get. You should have never bought on the first. You just bought the Samsung in February. You buying the brand new note in November. You ain't even take no photos. The whole gallery empty. You bought an upgrade phone. That's what you get. This nigga said that. Hey, hello, Scott. Oh, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Whole joint exploded. Oh, God damn. Hey, shooting. You got oh, Al Qaeda on your ears. Ah, oh, it's oh, over. The Holy Field oh, effect. No, nah, I thought it was a skit, man. We should have had, like, because I had the notes there. I should have put it on the door with some sticky tape. <laughs> Fire in the hole. They get using the note as C4. I got <laughs> You really could. <laughs> I remember when I found out they had a delivery service called them. They legit name is TNT Packaging. Everybody who got a note must have came in TNT Packaging. Like, that's crazy. How you got a phone that's blowing up on people's ear? You just, oh, wait, well, let's do a recall of that phone. Wait, wait a minute. We're going to send you some new phone. New phone? I lost my ear. <laughs> I want a new phone. Like, I fought Mike Tyson at night. I never met this man. I lost my ear. Tyson. You told him I'm going to send a new phone. 
Nah, they was for real. They, niggas was really trying to keep it. That's what's crazy. Now, oh, nah, it just blew up a little bit. It's, it overheated. You got to put it in some rice. Put it in rice. Like, you crazy? I'm like, I'm like bro, that's not natural. Your whole city be exploding. <laughs> Almost catching fire. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got to hold <laughs> Look, a little, a, a little thing called your phone. Your phone is overheated, but you know it does that now. Like it has a. But now, like overheated. yeah, like if your phone's sitting, like if your phone's sitting right in the sun, yeah, it'll do that. But, <laughs> but, but if you just now. naturally on the phone, you like, <laughs> 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 give you. A, <laughs> it give you a countdown when you're on the phone. It's ah, oh, wait a minute, I'll call you back. Oh I quite, it'd be like the Zoom when we run it out of time and just show oh, your phone will explode in approximately 46 seconds. Oh, sh- oh. Hun- honey, get the kids. Wake up. We got to get out the house. We got to get out the house. The phone's going to explode. Oh my God, dog. Nah, that's hilarious, bro. Like, it, it, but it's always going to be like something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's funny because people have been comparing the corona and everything. People get been comparing 2020 to Jumanji. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like, like, like. Welcome to the fifth level. Of bro, 2020 is Jumanji at this point. I'm like, uh, facts, bro. <laughs> I can't even get that. That's it's fact. Hmm. It's the truth, dog. We dog. Every <laughs> month is something new, son. Every <laughs> month is something new. Why did I just, <laughs> why I'm just not thinking about that, dog? <laughs> Like literally, we was just dealing with hornets. Them niggas was was good, bro. We was like, <laughs> bro, we was so good, man. Yo, it's like the playing Smash Bros. Yo. Man, a new challenger has approached. Like, what is this? Yo, we ain't even finished the level. How you showing up during the match? We don't even got enough controllers. You got number five coming in. Why you get on the screen? Hey, who let this dude in? Like, it's crazy. It's, it's all you see is a, 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 <laughs> just doing this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's doing, it's doing the guile. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God damn. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, they got Corona in Molly's house. Oh no. no. <laughs> Coronavirus. Yeah. It's real. Coronavirus. And it's funny, the niggas that was jamming that song don't believe it's real. When exactly. Because she was like, celebrities are getting paid to say that they got it. What? That doesn't even make sense to me. <laughs> that's what That's what she was getting paid to say that celebrities was getting paid. <laughs> that's how, That was the first thing I looked. I'm like, wait, you talk about it's real. Ain't you just say last week? Right. Wait a minute. Ho- <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Like, I don't this know. Don't make no sense. This nigga said they are paying celebrities to say, that, hey, my nigga, I got that home, bro. What? So bad. <laughs> How do you even broach that kind of pitch? Like, you send an email, hey, uh, uh, it's just Alba. I was just reaching out. Uh, see, we'll, we'll pay you this lump sum of money if you say you got the corona. Make sure you keep your girl around. She don't got it, but she will contract. I will, ooh, right, mark me down, baby. I'll take the deal. Like, that's ridiculous. You better take that. And you know what's funny? People were in her comments, you know what? You right, queen. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, hey, not the queen. <laughs> that shit crazy. Not the queen. Not the queen. With the crown, with yeah. the crown emoji. With <laughs> the crown emoji. You know, a nigga had to go scroll and find that emoji. Yeah. This niggas ain't using the crown emoji all the time, bro. They got the post notifications up waiting for the post. They're like, oh, wait, she said, I knew somebody was going to say it. Post, oh, I'm the first comment. Ah. I'm dead. Yeah, bro. It is so like, sad, dude, bro. Dudes really be looking sad. Do women look as bad? What? Like, as thirsty for men in their comments? Like, celebrities like men do? Who do you think is Nah. Like? No, it's men. No. Nah, nah, it's men. It's men. It's just, oh, See, we what we do, we like the pick. We'll share the pick in the group chat. Yup, with the girls. Put it in there and pride mm-hmm. it. That group we don't do none of that all that extra. Yeah. I, women, it, I see like mm. the, the hard eyes. Because men, men got outies. Yeah. 
Pretty yeah, much. Audi personality. Yeah. Fan, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Outside, nigga. Mm-hmm. Wait. Well, I just told you nah, but dude, dude, dudes be going over the top because dudes be going into detail. Women, they'll just Bro. they'll leave in a mode. Dude, I will drink your bath water at 5.47 p.m. on a Tuesday in the month of March. What's up? I'm like, damn. Uh, I wasn't expecting all of that. And the lady's just like, heart eyes. You, yeah, there's, yeah. No, there's no comparison. That's well, it. just like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cold. That's it, bro. Especially. Yeah, do, no, you do, know what's really stupid is because they'll get no reaction from that extensive hair yes. bro, and do the same thing the next day. Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't think you had saw yesterday. I think you're but allow me to <laughs> allow me to reiterate, reverberate, regurgitate my past sentiments from the day before. What I said was at 5:37 on a Tuesday, I will drink your bath water. Today is now Wednesday, so I am going to let you know that at 5:47, I will drink your bath water on a Wednesday. The days will not stop if you don't respond. Tomorrow, I'll be back here again. And then they get their $1,200 stimulus check and give 10% to a lady for her OnlyFans where she only getting on to twerk. Not 10%. That's, right. That's supposed to go to the Lord. That's supposed to go to the Lord. Yeah, going to OnlyFans. Boy's like, you know what? Sick. Boy's like, you know what, man? We, we ain't going to church right now. I can, I can, I can use that little 10%. I can splurge. Bro. Right, that joint's crazy. My thing with the OnlyFans was if you hop on OnlyFans for one month only, go through all of their content there and then jump off. You got your fix, but you about to be a loyal subscriber. You, there's this lady, I heard today, there was this lady named Jem Wolfie or, or Wolf on there. She got the most subscribers, $10. She got 10,000 subscribers all paying $10 a month. Oh. OnlyFans getting paid. Hold on, $10? Yeah. $10? $10 a month. She got 10,000 like it's crazy. Oh, she's like named Jem Wolf. It's wild. I found this out today. I'm like, well, I slid in her DMs like two years ago. I'm like, you gotta hey, be so kidding me. A hundred, a hundred k a year, uh, a month. Huh? Apparently, she making well over a million. She making twelve, uh, uh, um, one point two million dollars per year off OnlyFans alone. I saw a video, uh, um, where they were ex- some what couple was explaining doing? how much money how they you, make. It's you crazy. Bro, I do believe you. Bro, oh, we almost in the wrong right time. Goddamn. I'm in the wrong profession. So. But I say, let me, let me Google. How do you OnlyFans startup kit? She on YouTube right now. <laughs> I, was I, I was looking it up last month. I was like, God, how can I unzip my zipper in a sexy way? Like, how can I? <laughs> Like, how can I do? I started buying different boxes. I said, let me get my, let me get some Calvin Klein. Let me, let me get the Speedo. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the boxes. Yeah, I'm like, yo, let me leave, leave. The polo, the polo. And one ball out. Just leave one ball. Slowly, slowly let it out. You got, you got like, ooh. You got to show the pubic hair before the ball. Oh, yeah, exactly. You For $7.99 a month, I'll show you my left testicle. <laughs> Are you interested, ladies? And then you just have to, you just have the haulers go and collect your panties, man. They're gonna send you some money. <laughs> you know what's funny? Since we talked about that, the same person, uh, Desiree Mitchell, she they remember when I was saying like, uh, you got to beef with her. No, huh? no, nah, nah, it's <laughs> funny because it's the same person. Remember when I said she made on well, someone I someone I mentioned had made like I think it was it's like six thousand in a couple of days. For one mm-hmm. That's from the from ah the feet yeah. picks yeah I saw it I saw that title yeah. where people selling feet picks I was considering doing that I'm like wait a minute you know <laughs> what if I just say I'm so I, I I paint my toenail nobody ever see it I'm like yo look at these feet over here catch the look at these tailings and just photo- sell that joint Photoshop it. make them look yep. clear photo- just shopping. shave my leg probably shorten my foot give myself like a short foot syndrome. And just go out there and bam, here's my toe. Look at my toe right here. Just a pinky. I release I release a different toe every day. You make bank off of that. Yeah, man. She she making bread, bro. She making bread. Out the some feet. So that's I seen the um <laughs> some on Facebook where they had the the, the like a pussy mm-hmm. with a attached to a foot. So for the people with a foot fetish can like have some what? Top of the foot. They got flashlights that are feet. 
No, that's not even humanly possible. Is it in betwixt the toe? Is it in between the toe? Because if it's if it's in the sole of the foot or the Achilles, like who who doing that? Like if you ever tore your Achilles, you gotta be like, yo, this I wanna sue somebody, son. If anybody send that link to Boogie Cousins, he gotta fight somebody, son. You can't hi no, people no. out here sticking their dick and feet. Oh, oh man, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. Sick, man. <laughs> Some sicko mode. What'd you say, Melissa? A Mali? No, I was on mute. Oh. No, I, I never. I was laughing at you guys. Trying to oh. disconnect yourself, huh? I'm not a part of these guys. <laughs> so how much money you make? Yeah, yeah. Still trying to figure that only fans <laughs> thing out. Ten, ten. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to. Ten. What could I do? That's um. I'm, I'm gonna show my elbow. How can you know, I? Maybe somebody come up. <laughs> that's into joints. There may be somebody out there that like elbows. Hey there, big boy. <laughs> hey there, big boy. You like to do, big boy. Take a look at my elbow. Oh, oh, turn to the right. Turn to the right. But, oh, how about the left arm? <laughs> Uh, and for a little bit of, if you throw in an extra $4, I'll show you a little bit of tricep meat. And you just sit over here, and the dude just in the house, ah, oh, ah, oh, and his mom is upstairs. Hey, hey, like, come on, man. Who out here with OnlyFans subscriptions? That's crazy. I like when your elbows are. <laughs> or oh, to make it worse, if if they enjoy it ashy, but they feel better when it's lotioned up, so they pay the OnlyFans to see her put lotion on her elbow. Spread it slow. Spread it slow, baby. Apply it to You know what's probably triggering somebody? They so, yeah. Somebody like, hey, man, why are they talking about that, man? Or you subscribe. <laughs> or you a subscriber to it. Some elbow fetish. Yeah, they get an idea. What if somebody is subscribing, they get an idea. Like, oh, wait, what, man, he talking, he making fun of lotion. You know, what if I tell her to use baby oil? That switched the whole game up. It might just slick off. She don't even got to spread it. It just naturally go down to the tricep <laughs> meat that I like to see. <laughs> so oh, my God, bro. This this was this was dope, man. Nah, this is definitely hilarious, man. Yeah. We definitely got to do this again, bro. For sure, bro. You... I haven't laughed so much on a podcast. <laughs> no, no, no. He said, relax. Relax, Warren. Oh, you're yes. right, you're right, you're right. Let's go. <laughs> this is the part of the podcast, so it's like, oh my god, you know, Chisel, man, we appreciate you. So much. Wait, how, what is the deal with the Pornhub? <laughs> oh, oh, how I got on Pornhub? Oh, that's easy. Well, I kept getting blocked on Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. So I'm like, all right, let me get on Pornhub. They can't block me here. Mm -hmm. There's nobody who I watch the Avengers on Pornhub. You can't block me oh, on really? Pornhub. <laughs> yeah, I watched the um Infinity War. Because after it came out, yeah, I watched it in theaters, and I wanted to see it again. But then at that time, I was struggling. I had the money. So I'm like, I can't find hey, no... You done no. dropped some game to a lot of people. Bro, oh, yeah, you can watch a ton of movies on there. I mean, um, they had a fight that was live streaming on Pornhub. What was it? Was it, um... You know Pornhub got the X on the side. It was. Hey, you want to have a good time? Hey, everybody worry about that bullshit right now. Come on. It was <laughs> wild, wild when Deontay Wilder fought against uh, um Bazile. It was on Pornhub. Wow. Yeah, they had a lot. Somebody was camming it on porn. I'm like, yo, this the wave over here. So I got on porn up, but unfortunately, they blocked me five times. This is the trick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it's at. The content from the P-Hub. I mm -hmm. check it. Wow. I never knew this source. He said, I watched a full feature film on porn. Can you imagine you in the mode and you going for porn hub, full porn hub? But you see your favorite movie as a suggestion. Like, hold on. There's a popcorn. You 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 use your butter for something else. Oh well, let me butter my popcorn. I was about to put this on my meat. I was about to wax up the wrong thing. Put down the lotion. Pick up the popcorn. Porn hub coming to a house near you. You got a full screen. You you full screen it so nobody see the website you on. Like yo, the bottom, yo, the cursor look kind of yellow. That look, hey, don't that look familiar? I seen that. Don't worry about that. The word, hey, don't touch the remote. Don't touch the remote. 
That's funny. Oh bro. my god, man! I never knew that, man. Oh my god, that is crazy. Hey, this whole podcast is gonna have to be try not to laugh. Oh, he brought it back up. I was looking at the dog. I was like, damn, get the dog. And the dog just hurt. <laughs> dog, he was struggling. And it, 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 it wasn't even barking no more. It started getting a weaker and weaker bark. <laughs> it sounded like a balloon losing air. Like, damn, why they do that to the dog like that? Slammed him on the ground. <laughs> oh, damn, Ross, your connection. Oh, oh, the light bill. The light bill done cut off again. That's the third time. Oh, send the stimulus check. Send the, sim- send the stimulus check. She didn't get it yet. Damn. Oh, 21 Savage asked Molly how much electricity. She said a lot. No, nah, it's, it's too much being gone. Golly. Oh. I can't, man. Like, <laughs> hilarious podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you run the mics up if you want to see us do this again. Oh Shout out to the homie Chisel and Honest for taking time on this. You need to join us. Yeah. Uh, we do plan on doing this some more. This can't be the last time. No, nah, definitely not. Oh, um, yeah. Always appreciate you, man. Enjoy the content. We're going to keep rocking with it. So for make sure y'all sure go subscribe to the homie. The link to his channel will be down below as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so follow him on all social medias and all that. Clutch squad. Show, show. Hey. 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 Hey.